cars before I get to it. COVID-19 checkpoint. I had a pretty eventful week so far. I had to end, I had to, uh, I was driving yesterday. I've been having an issue with my truck ever since last week. And now I've been running low on cooling. Could never figure out what the problem was. I had to put cooling in twice. Yesterday was Monday. Started out pretty good. Check, I checked it that morning before I left. Drove up to Virginia. Got up, got up right outside uh, Chesapeake. I was headed to uh, Newport News to get this load I got now. And I, I got a warning on my dash said, low coolant, stop engine. I'm like, fuck, I ain't had no coolant. I had to pull up and put some water in it. So I put some water in it. Then I got the load, took it back home. I checked it, I checked the load this well, I checked the coolant this morning. Well, I actually checked it when I got home. When I got to the truck stop that night, before I, not the truck stop, I parked there at home. I stopped at a pilot. Hey look, y'all see this? All the cars gotta pull in there. Man, that's crazy. But you know what though? It, it's, it's a lot faster. A lot faster than I thought. Yeah, all the cars had to pull in there. The trucks got the bypass. Yeah, I got I stopped at the pilot last night. And I uh, I lit the truck. I went inside the truck stop. Stayed in there about 10 minutes. I came back out. When I came back out, I seen the fluid. I seen the, I seen the fluid dripping, dripping down. So I, but I couldn't pinpoint where it was leaking at. But the pilot, the pilot I was at, they got a shop, but uh man, I wish I could see everything out there. They got tents and everything. Damn. Yeah, I I went uh Park to where I park, park at to go home. Where am I go home? Cause I went home last night. Got got back to the truck this morning. Cause the pilot I was at, they got a shop, but they're not 24 hours. And it ain't even like a real pilot shop. It's just like a mom and pop. It's a Sattler's, but they got a mechanic shop. So I, uh, I couldn't I couldn't go to them cause they ain't had nothing. They weren't even open. It's past five o'clock. So I said, you know what? I gotta got a, a Petro on 95 in South Carolina. Now, it's in Florence. It was 102 miles from me. So I got up early this morning. Whatever my 10 hour break was up. It was up like 4.30. Probably like 4.30. It was up, it was a matter of fact, it was up at 5.10. Woo! But I got up at 4.30. That's why I'm yawning right now. Got up at 4.30. 10 hour break was up at 5.10. So I went to the truck. Put some more water in it. My buddy told me I, I was gonna put antifreeze in it, but, but my buddy was my, one of my matter of fact, my buddy Chris, Chris Lockhart, 806 truck. I called him and he was like, "Yeah, man, you might as well put some water in it because they're gonna drain the antifreeze out anyway." And so I was like, "Yeah, that makes sense." So there was no need to pour the antifreeze in there. So I put some water in it, put about a gallon of water. It was enough to get me down to South Carolina. Get me to the get me to the Petro. I got to the Petro 745. Now this Petro is supposed to be 24 hours. I looked at it on the website too last night before I even left. They were 24 hours. And I was looking at the at the stuff that that shop could do. And one of the things they had it was like that was like a certified Freightliner service shop. Like they could diagnose coolant leaks and stuff like that. Like they keep Freightliner parts in stock. So I was like, I knew, I was like, yeah, this, it said 24 hours. I got there this morning, 745. The guy, the guy signed me, he signed me up, signed me in and everything. He was like, he was like, yeah, we don't start taking trucks in until eight o'clock. So you gotta wait about 15 minutes. I was like, I ain't no biggie. They had one truck in front of me. They got like three, they got three bays at this shop now. 
If y'all ever go to that Petro on 95, it's in Florence. Yeah, they got down three three bays. They had one truck had to get a DOT inspection. And they had they put me in bay two. Man, these got man, they pulled me in the bay. I sat there for about 45 minutes before the guy even came over there and looked at it. And he was like, uh, you know where it's leaking at? I was like, nah, that's why I, that's why I came up here. I don't know where it's leaking at. I just know it's leaking. So he came, looked at it, did what he did what he put his little pressure system on it, did what he had to do. Then uh, he came and told me it was a water pump. He was like, we're just waiting on PNS to uh, give it the okay. I was like, all right. So PNS, as soon as he told me that, PNS called me like 10 minutes later. It was like telling me what exactly what the problem was and everything, how much it was gonna cost. And I was like, all right, I'm like, yeah, like, like I have a choice, like, yeah, I gotta do it. <laughs> so they was like, you wanna go ahead and do it? I was like, yeah. So bam, I, I guess PNS called them back. About another hour go by. Now, now keep in mind, I'm saying these, these, these time frames, these mechanics ain't doing nothing but standing around in the shop smoking cigarettes. That's all they're doing. Standing in there smoking cigarettes, just chilling. They ain't doing nothing. So yeah, they came back over there, took took the old water pump off. Guy took it off. About three more mechanics. They come over there, look at it. Everybody want to pick it up, look at it. They looking at it, laughing, smoking cigarettes. So I'm like, okay, they about to put the next one on. Another hour go by. Another hour go by. They come over there and look at it some more. They're just standing there under the, like right where the hood is at, just looking, smoking cigarettes. So finally the guy starts working on it. He'll work on it about 10, 15 minutes, then stop, go smoke a cigarette. <laughs> hey, he'll, he'll drink some Mountain Dew with the other guys. Then the other guy come over there and look at it with him. And they, they did this, this process took about an hour. They did all that. He finally got the new water pump on. He had to go smoke another cigarette. Then he had to put the coolant back in. Hey, and for anybody who says, hey, you can't put water in there, you gotta put coolant. Okay, when I when I pulled over on the side of the road yesterday and I needed some coolant, I didn't have no coolant. I called PNS and I was like, hey, my truck, uh, my truck is low on coolant. I don't have any, can I use water? They was like, yeah, you can use some water. You know, just enough to get you to the truck stop. So when the guy was putting my cooler back, he was putting the same cooler back in. So I told him, I said, hey, I put some water in there yesterday. He was like, how much did you put in? I said, probably about a gallon. I, was, I just let him know. He was like, he was like, yeah, it's fine. He was like, cause I'm gonna have to add some more cooler anyway. So yeah, he put the cooler back in there. Hey, sent me on my way. So I got to that place, I got to that Petro about 7.45 and I left around 12, I think it was around 12.30. So it was, it was a good thing that I got there early. Went ahead and got it out of the way. And now here I am right here in Uly, Florida. Mile marker 370. About to pass this dump truck. Some dump trucks haul ass, some of them, some of them just creep. I only got eight miles, I'm about to get off on uh, 295. Ride that for a little bit, then I got a state route that I gotta ride for about 30, I think it's about 37 miles, and that's gonna put me on 75. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on 75 for a good while until I get down past Tampa. I'm going to St. Petersburg, if I didn't tell y'all. And when I stop for the night, get out and show y'all this load that I got. Got a boat head on it. I ain't used a boat head in a long time. But I had to for this load. I got some structural steel. I don't know if y'all haul structural steel, but the last time I hauled some structural steel is when I had um I had a load shift up there in New Jersey. When I fixed that truck stops last time I hauled some. They always just throw the stuff on the trailer, man. It's all over the place. I think I got, I got a matter of fact, I got a, yeah, I used every strap I got. I got 11 straps on this load. 
and plus two chains and a bulkhead. And I could have used the chain in the rear where I got a strap at. I probably would have been better off using a chain because I had to use the edge protection under the straps. But hey, it is what it is. I got a strap so with the edge protectors. I've been doing a lot of load checks with this load just to keep an eye on it. But anyway, I hit y'all up when I stop. I've been talking too much. I don't talk much, but once I get to talking, I can't shut the hell up. I could, you know, I could give y'all more videos like this, just driving, cause they're easy to make, you know. I just ride and talk, but I don't know. I don't know, man. It's been kind of slow lately, like I said in my last video. It's been kind of slow. Really haven't had any motivation to make videos because hey, I'm trying to change. Like whenever I whenever I get a load, you know, I don't really have free time. I'm just trying to hurry up, pick it up, drop it off. Because you know the load is so scarce right now. You know the quicker you get empty, the quicker you'll get a reload. You don't want to get empty too late, and then they don't got no more loads available. Because it has been days like that where I've got empty and they didn't have any loads. I got empty in Charlotte last week around 12 o'clock in the afternoon. They didn't have any loads. My DM called me and told me. She was like, hey, you can go home or you can stay in Charlotte, but we don't have nothing today. Like, just straight like that. She flat out told me at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, we don't have anything. It's going to be tomorrow. So, yeah, man, we got to get empty quick right now. First come, first serve on these loads. That's why I'll be glad when the economy opens back up. All right, gang, let's get on and get to the truck stop. If if that's where I'm gonna park tonight, I'm gonna find somewhere to park. I got two hours, 27 minutes on my clock. 237 miles to my receiver. I'm supposed to be there by eight o'clock, so I'm gonna run this all the way out and find me somewhere to park at. So this is where I'm taking my 10 hour break at. Beautiful Florida. Disgusting. Are these palm trees? I don't know. What are those things? Let me show y'all this boat here, man. The reason I got it up here. I'm not I'm not sure. I, th I think that one little piece up there might have might have moved forward. Two straps right there, two chains. Couple layer straps back there. About to climb up there. Yeah, unbelievably. None of them. That one might have came forward. Looked like it has. But I did put this wood like right up against the metal. See, look at this. See, I just picked it up. And I got it, I got it secured like hell. This piece looks like, no, that one, that one ain't moving. That one ain't moving. This one like it'll move. That one will move. That one will definitely move. But it ain't gonna break through that boat head. If I didn't have that boat head up there, that shit will come right off the damn front. Got layer straps on that stuff back there. See my tarps way back there. I got some metal in that bag. We only got, we only got 125 miles before we uh, drop this load off in the morning. My brand new red airline, brand new shiny red. That's why it's so shiny. Brand new ratchet straps that I just got. Still got the tag on them. Had to get some new ones. Same old bungees, same old. We get down from here. Look at that beautiful, beautiful sunset. I got a front row seat. So beautiful Florida sunset. Be clean, grill and chill. Takeout. Let's see. Take. I seen it's takeout and call in orders only. So this is where I'm at. That's 75 right there. 
got off got off of 95, got on I-10. I rode that state road for probably about 50 miles. It was it was four lanes both sides. 301. Got two pallets down there across across the bridge. Got two more got two pallets. But this is where I'm going. To the loves. I could have parked over here. Pull up right there, back straight in. It's a good spot, good spot to park. Beautiful Florida sunshine. Hey, watch out for them damn alligators coming from over there. Yeah, I was gonna park at this loves, but man, they had so many down, so many trucks over there. They was backed up. They were backed up on the fuel island. Almost in the street. I said, I said, nah. But see, when I came to the loves, I came from that way. You can't get to that little Dairy Queen thing right there. But when I passed by it, I seen it over there and I seen a couple spots open. And so I said, whenever I come back, well, I said if it ain't if it ain't nothing at the loves, I just go back over there. And that's where I went. Got my tennis shoes on. I don't got the car hearts on. So if I got to do any ass kicking, who got to do it in any tennis shoes? But we about to go to Subway. That's where I'm going. So let me focus on this road and get to Subway. Hey, right, we made it. Hey, something else I forgot to mention a while ago, man. There's a lot of homeless people in Florida. There's a lot of them. I guess because of the sunshine, they come out here and take it easy. All right, gang, headed back to the truck. Ran my mouth enough today. I'll see y'all in the morning. Wakey, wakey. Good morning, Florida. Exit 21. There we go. Exit 21. Haitian buddies. When I used to work at Smithfield Pack, I had a lot of Haitians there. Haitians, Hondurans, El Salvadorians, 
Not too many, not too many Mexicans. Cause they get offended if you call them Mexican and they're not Mexican. We had Hondurans, Haitians, El Salvadorians. Basically, more, more immigrants than actual Americans. Sad to say, but that's how it was. That's how America is, man. All the immigrants come in and take the jobs from the Americans. Hope I ain't, ain't offending nobody. That's how it is. But I guess in their defense, you know, they say the Americans don't want to work. I don't mind working. I don't want to make this thing political, man. That's just how I see it. find this place. I'm not sure how to get in it. It's going to be on my left. There it is right there. It's right there. No outlets. Woo! Made it. Structural steel, miscellaneous steel. Let's figure out how we're going, where we're going to. I see another truck down there. Are we here, gang? Head do its job. One little piece like it might have came, came forward. But yeah, feel like it worked. my truck is almost finished that happened right there in Norfolk believe it or not nah I ain't broke down I just wanted to check that coolant again keep an eye on it the guy gave me like a half a bottle yesterday and I got a full bottle see where all that coolant sprayed out up under here look up under the hood all that coolant sprayed out, that damn water pump went out. It's all up here. Yeah, that's my key. Don't tell nobody. I have had to use that thing about twice. 
Florida sand traps. Last time I came to Florida, I got stuck delivering some pipes. So he got like uh, about two more bundles. And we're gonna be out of here. Trends like the young folks. I found these yesterday. Love's water. First time seeing it. I was pretty tickled about it. I was so tickled. I don't know if y'all remember. Did I say anything about the homeless people last night down there in Florida? I was so tickled. I went inside the Love's. I bought. That was, I think it was like a dollar some change. I bought like five of them. Gave them to the homeless people last night. I didn't get that on camera because. That don't need to be showed. This is where the hell I'm going. Gibsonton, Florida. Classic Gibsonton. What is this shit? Picking up something. Scaffold. What the scaffold? I, I heard the name before. Scaffold. I think that's that's like the little thin wood that you put on the that you trim stuff with. Is that what it is? My DM told me it was 30 minutes away. Let's do some quick, quick Google Maps searching. I put it in Google Maps, then I put it in a truck GPS. Get a better look on uh, Google Maps. 13031 WY, Wyadope Road. Gibson to Florida. 40 minute, 40 minute drive. Oh, okay, it's just, oh man. Just riding 275 back around, all the way around, back around Tampa. That's all I'm doing. Going right back through Tampa. My oh, damn truck GPS was fucking tripping when I was, uh, when I was going through Tampa earlier. Classic. Damn directions. They don't give me no damn give me no directions. I got the I got the directions for the receiver, but not the damn not the shipper. Alright, appreciate it, man. That's what I was waiting on, my paperwork. What's well, hot down here? 92 degrees. Shipping ticket. Page three or three, so that means I gotta scan all three of these pages. When it say page three or three, I can't just scan the one with the signature. You gotta scan all three of them. I hate that shit. All right, gang, I'm out. Hope y'all enjoyed my video, man. Like I said, chasing these loads really don't got no free time. Cause first come, first serve. Whoever get empty first get a load. You you get empty like five minutes past twelve o'clock, you might not get a load. So. I gotta, I gotta keep up with it, man. Maybe when, maybe when the economy improves, you know. So, so with my production as well. But I'm out, man. Love y'all, flatbed gang. I'm out.
before I take the securement off and show you all this load I got. I picked this up yesterday after I got empty. I didn't make a video for it because I ain't had time. This is what I got. See, I'm, I'm already in North Carolina now about to drop it off. But I got this yesterday, man. Just wanted to show y'all real quick. It was a hell of a securement job, I tell you that. 